Hey there, Virgo. Getting ready to do your reading for September. I'm, so, I'm sorry, December. <laughs> Hello. December the 1st through the 7th. Um, so the first week of December, this is going to be a general reading for the collective of Virgo. So it may or may not resonate. If it does not resonate, of course, just come back another week and hopefully your uh, information will be there. Now, I have been leaving all the readings open, just allowing, um, can't make it up, allowing uh, Spirit to just decide what it's going to be. But I was specifically told for Virgo to make it about love. And I am literally shuffling for you the chakra cards for some initial messages. And right out the gate, you got a soulmate. Boom. So that's why they wanted me to leave it open. Or uh, look at love. So we're going to look at love. Oh, we got trickery too. Okay. All right, spirit guides and angels, give me a few more cards on my Virgos to get started on this love reading. Acceptance, beautiful. One more card. Can't help to notice that you actually have two here from uh, the root chakra. Oh, and then we got vanity. Well, you just got an assortment of cards here, it looks like. Okay, we're going to get into this. Let's get into the tarot and see what this is about. Um, again, I've been doing readings for the last two days, and I've been leaving them open. Whoever the collective is that I'm reading for tonight, uh, there must be some messages regarding love that need to get out, So, because I don't usually hear that. Okay. By the way, if you like the content on the channel, do not forget to like and subscribe if you would, please. It really does help my channel to grow. If you're guys and angels, talk to me about my Virgos in love. What's going on with this person? Virgo, it's a current person or a new person. Talk to me about this person. All right, what do we got here? Who is this person for Virgo? Who are we looking at here? What's been going on in Virgo's life? Okay, we got this one to come out. We got the world card, ending of a cycle. Okay, the world card is obviously very positive. It's the last card, of course, in the major arcana, but it's really about having a sense of fulfillment, obviously inner peace, but it's also the end of a cycle. It's about leaving one cycle to go into a new cycle. Okay, I'm looking at this up here, Virgo. i got to be honest with you. The soulmate, of course, I, I don't think I need to say anything about that. Very, very powerful a connection. I'm about to see if this is going to be a new connection because I think it is. Um, we have some trickery though. Trickery is all about, of course, being deceptive. Uh, it can be about betrayal uh, that has happened. Trickery though also, just so we're clear, could also be about somebody that is holding back, not showing their cards, um, just playing them very close to their, their chest, maybe wanting more than what they're saying but holding it back. Because uh, maybe they're not comfortable yet. Maybe they're not at that point uh, yet. So we're going to find out again uh, in what respect that is being used to. We also have acceptance, though. That's what <laughs> these cards are like good. Mm, I don't know. Good. Mm. <laughs> we have acceptance. Acceptance is all about um, obviously we, acceptance, right? Just being accepting of one another, accepting yourself, what I just heard. I'm not sure what that's coming from. Maybe somebody has um, perhaps challenged your confidence a little bit, maybe made you think uh, or, or go into a few self-worth issues. Um, Maybe you're having some issues accepting what has happened in terms of this in terms of this past relationship. Whether this is about self acceptance or accepting what is taking place, or even accepting who may be coming towards you, and not dwelling on the past or comparing to the past, uh, where something may not have been out in the open. Uh, yeah, 
it's just you know the message is obviously just just make sure that you are always listen a good rule of thumb is always read the energy right we can't allow past wounds uh, to continue running our lives because if they do we'll never have anything good so try to get beyond that full acceptance once again i'm being reminded self-acceptance as well understanding that you are good enough you are deserving of something wonderful in your life the vanity card um to me is one of the worst cards because the, the vanity to me is about someone who you know they want to be a showboat they want to be larger than life um you know they want to be seen and i'm not talking about in a positive way they're willing to kind of step on people they want to you know keep keeping up with the joneses so to speak um even if that's not really accurate okay so it's kind of more of a facade uh but they'll do anything, put anybody to the side, anything like that in order to be, to live that kind of lifestyle and also um, to have that kind of presence with other people. Okay, they want people to look up to them, which is totally fine. But, you know, the way that I feel like they are, they are coming about it has been a problem. So I'm wondering if this is actually, these two right here are actually one of your past people because I do see that you're coming out of a cycle. All right. Here guys and angels, give me some guidance here on my Virgos, please. Okay, yeah, one card flip. Got the nine of pentacles. Look at that. Okay, so coming out of a cycle, looking very, very independent, uh, bountiful. It looks like to me, looking like you got it all together. Um, you don't need anybody, clearly. You know, you may want someone, but you certainly don't need them. And even if you're not financially stable, um, you certainly, it looks to me like you appear like that to someone. You're feeling good within your own right. Um, that is what the Nine of Pentacles is all about. Just sheer abundance all of, around her. If you're familiar with the cards, there's just, she's in a huge garden. Um just flowers everywhere, hills, rolling hills behind her, holding a bird. <laughs> just a very, very bountiful card. Okay, all right, and look at this, and now we have the Ten of Cups. I have one fall. It's, oh, I had several fall. I can't take all of these. There's four here. All right, you got the Ten of Cups. What is going on here, Virgo? Jeez, this is why they wanted me. I think you've been through some stuff. It's like you've been through some stuff and you're about to come into a whole new situation. This could very well be from some somebody who you've been with. I don't know yet because I haven't seen anything to that. But it could very well be with somebody that you've actually been with. And maybe they've done some things and now they're turning that around. Maybe you guys have ended that cycle. Yeah, and you're trying to get that around because you are heading towards emotional fulfillment, okay? The Ten of Cups is all about a period of peace, contentment, um, you, you know, supportive family, great friends, a uh, special relationship. You know, it's got the, the husband and the wife. Obviously, there's no sex in tarot, so just apply it as it goes. You know, the children, you got the home in the back, you know, it's beautiful. And then you have the full next, which is about going out. I don't know what this is trying to come out. Uh, you got the full next, which again is about being a little bit unpredictable, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, you're jumping before you really think too much about it, which is good. Uh, the full, to me, the full is, I love the full. Um, I'm the fool sometimes because the fool is very spontaneous, right? The fool loves to adventure. Um, they don't always think things through, but sometimes we spend too much thinking, in my opinion. Into that, you got the King of Cups. Look at that. So King of Cups can be a water energy. It certainly does not have to be. Um, but the King of Cups is usually someone who is pretty stoic on the outside, or at least, you know, has a calm demeanor on the outside. Nothing's really getting to him. And then on the inside, the King of Cups, there's that Nine of Swords again. I'm going to take the Nine of Swords just because it keeps coming. So the King, I'm sorry, yeah, the King of Cups is about someone that, that can also, they keep their emotions in. Okay, if you ever look at the depiction of the King of Cups, there's all this water all around them. Waters are, water is emotions, as you know. 
So although they may not be showing it, there's a lot of love going on up underneath here. Yeah. Looking at the Queen of Swords. I wonder if this is you. <laughs> All right, let's see. So the Queen of Swords generally, of course, is going to be an air sign, which is, uh, let's see, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You also have the Knight of Swords here. Incidentally, I'm about to do some clear. I mean, I'm clarifying right now, so let me get two more. Let me clarify this full card. I think I see what's going on. You got, okay. You got the moon. I feel like on this bottom part, honestly, this is all your energy. I'm going to be honest. You have some energy up here and then the king of cups, but I feel like you are playing it safe in some ways. That's probably why you have the acceptance card. Almost like, look, you've been through some stuff, okay? Accept this that we're giving you, okay? Self-love for yourself, you know, but also just acceptance of what is actually coming in because I feel like with the queen of swords, um... You may be a little bit guarded, but we're going to see. Okay, we've got the last one. Actually, the last two. Let's take a look. Yeah, that Eight of Swords coming out. And then I also got the Queen of Wands, but it was actually flipped upside down. So that's really interesting. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords that is actually clarifying the world. Okay, the Seven of Swords shows me usually somebody that can be a little problematic. Okay, somebody that doesn't always have the best intentions generally. Um, usually they can make selfish decisions that bring dishonor or shame, anything like that. You know, they can be hiding, of course, a lot of things that in the in the picture, they're literally stealing. They're stealing swords, right? Um, so again, it could be about taking things and literally stealing, but I don't feel that. I feel like it's more about hiding things, um, not wanting to really open up. If this is you, um, you may be holding back any emotions that you have being pretty uh, queen of swords, if you will, you know, because because of things that have happened in the past. Maybe you have had a lot of trickery. Maybe you did get deceived by somebody. Maybe you wanted love, but this person was more about, you know, vanity and being a show off and, you know, just, uh, you know, getting money any way that they could. Um, getting recognition. This is a person that needs a lot of recognition too, right? Yeah, that's definitely what I'm getting. This is a person that, so you might have been with somebody too that had to get a lot of recognition. So you might have actually known that they were dealing with other people or maybe they had a lot of people they were talking to, especially online, on social media, stuff like that. And you're looking for something so much more, right? So on the Nine of Pentacles, it shows you in a cycle, you're going into, uh, you know, obviously you're in a phase. If you're not yet, then you're certainly heading this way where you're looking really good. Um, you're looking, like I said before, very abundant. You can take care of yourself. You're totally fine being alone. But what you want is this Ten of Cups, right? You want to have that emotional fulfillment. You want to have people around you who support you. You want to have that special love uh, relationship and that commitment that you're really wanting. You want that happiness, okay? This card can also be... Um, I've been reading for a lot of years, so I noticed that a lot of people don't talk about this now, but it can also be about forgiveness and reconciliation. So if this is someone you've been dealing with and they've changed, then obviously this could also bring that. But ultimately, I'm feeling like you're very, very focused on what it is that you're wanting, um, just out of life and certainly out of love. And you're looking for something a little more long term. Uh, the fool, again, we talked about the fool. The fool is, you know, the fool's ready to go. Fool's ready to be spontaneous, uh, be a free spirit, you know, go and do things, go and find who they need. But at the end, we have the King of Cups coming in. So whether this is the person that you've been with um, that was hiding, if that's what this trickery card is about, in the Seven of Wands, hiding uh, their feelings, then you should know that this person loves you. They have a lot of love for you. Now, it could be, if this is a new person, it could be that you're attracting in clearly a soulmate, okay, that is going to have a lot of love for you. They could also be a water sign, but regardless, there's a lot of love here. What I love about the, the water signs 
is most of them are very sensitive. They have no issue expressing how they feel, and I really appreciate that. Clarifying the world card, we have the Seven of Swords, which we kind of talked about. Um, somebody here has been holding back, okay? Somebody here, and this may still be, you may be holding back, like I said, because you know that you're coming out of this cycle and move into a new one. Um, but what I see here on this Nine of Pentacles, and I feel like this is definitely a past person, is you've got the Nine of Swords, you've got somebody ready to come in. Okay, this is going to be a person from the past, strongly, strongly being pulled to that. Um, you probably have went through all this stuff with you. They can very well also be your soulmate. Take it as it resonates because you're going to know uh, your connection. Okay, and you're also going to know whether it's still going or if it's done. But this person is seeing you in all your majesty, if you will, in your glory, doing fine on your own, not needing anyone else. And they are ready to come in like a bat out of hell and bring you the clarity uh, that you need. Okay, and this is a very, very fast moving night. Just so you know, I don't know, hopefully I don't call this a king. This is a very fast moving night. Um, if you don't know, they're on a horse. They're coming in very fast. They got their sword drawn. They're ready to go. Okay. And then the next card is the Queen of Swords. I feel like this is you, to be honest. Now, I know that you're an earth sign generally, but this is an energy. All of these cards represent energy. Queen of Swords shows me that somebody is a very emotionally balanced uh, person. Man or woman, doesn't matter. In this card, of course, it's a woman. Uh, but most importantly, they're very wise from life's experiences because they've been through some stuff. Okay, usually a queen, I love the Queen of Swords personally because I feel like they can lap their ways through stuff. Okay, because they've been through it so much. They have learned to um, embrace their humor and, and laugh at a lot of these challenges that kind of come their way in life. Um, there's usually been a lot of sorrow in the Queen of Swords life too and, and some conflict, but they are extremely intelligent and they, they of course, they're very uh, analytical as well. So this person... If this person is trying to come in, this past person, and stir up anything or bring you this truth, they need to understand they can't bring any BS. I don't believe they will because you are going to be meeting them with a whole new energy. Now, you may have been like this before, but you want 100% honesty. Uh, you want them to be just direct, give you honesty, no BS, period, or they're going to be cut out. Okay, because you know what you want, and you want that Ten of Cups. Um, I think if they do that, you're going to be looking at the information, because the next card is the Fool is really about taking, of course, a chance, right? Stepping off without looking, but it's clarified by the Moon. So the Moon is all about hidden stuff, right? The Moon is about... You know, a lot goes on, like on a full moon, we always know what that means. Uh, but there can be a lot of confusion. So whatever they come to you, whatever they actually say, before you make some kind of leap, it looks to me like you're going to go through a little period um, of confusion. Maybe even having some anxiety, I'm feeling, because your next card here is going to be the Eight of Swords. So if they come in appearing... And showing you, oh, you know what? I'm sorry about all that. This is who I truly am, this King of Cups. You know, I have so much love for you. Um, I care for you so much. It looks like it's going to put you into the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is always about um, feeling like you're trapped in something. You know, you can be very much in your head. This particular card has uh, a woman that is completely strapped, right? She's got like, she's bound. And then even her eyes are covered. Okay, so from seeing things, from moving forward, that's what it's about. So it is feeling very much stuck, stuck in your head. Swords are all about mental stuff, so stuff is stuck in your head. Um, yeah, it's going to put you in a place that I feel like it might take you a little bit off balance because you're going to feel like some things are still hidden here. And this is what you're feeling. Like we have the end in there. We have the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is actually... Um, and I'm going to say this can be the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. Like I said, don't look at gender. Just apply it to your story. But the Queen of Wands in reverse is not good. Okay. So the Queen of Wands upright is, is beautiful and charming and passionate. But the Queen of Wands in reverse uh, is more so about 
They can have kind of a frosty demeanor. So again, this could be a man, it can be a woman, whoever this person is. Maybe that's what they've shown you in the past. Maybe that's who you feel like they still are. Maybe you're having a trouble accepting, well, how can this person be this? And they've been hiding all this and they're showing me all this warmth and all this love and everything that I've wanted initially. And meanwhile, on the outside, you know, they're just, you know, they play a lot of games. They've always played a lot of games with me, right? They they play with my feelings, and they don't seem to care about that. They've been unfaithful if they have, if that applies. Um, you know, again, that, that very kind of cold on the outside, frosty demeanor. Another thing about the, the Queen of Wands that's in reverse, or the King of Wands, is that they can be uh, a bit manipulative, okay? Um, so you got to really watch out for that. So it looks like you know exactly what it is you're wanting here. Um, but with it coming in so fast and then presenting uh, another way about them, I think it is really going to be, it's going to put you in your head. And it's all to do with what happened before. Whatever this trickery was, whatever this fantasy was, I feel like there must have been... There had to have been somewhat, the, the vanity card, I'm so strongly pulled, it can mean a lot of things, but I'm so strongly pulled to somebody who just needs to have uh, the approval of other people, you know, somebody who has to have a lot of eyes on them, give me attention, I, look, I'm gonna, let me just be very clear about this, that's an insecure thing, okay, that doesn't make you secure, a ladies man, or, you know, a man's woman, whatever you call it, <laughs> it makes you flat out insecure, all right, if you need to have that so that you can feel good about yourself, that's not a good thing. And so if that's who this person is, then hopefully they have grown from that because you don't need that for sure. All right. I do see here we have a knight. And of course, here we're actually looking at a king. So I think that that is good. Oh, you got the abundance card and boom. You got the chaser. So you may have actually been the chaser in the past or... You may have been the chaser in the past, and now it looks to me like this person is coming in as the chaser. But look at this. You got the snake. Competition. Enemy. Clever. Malicious. Look over your shoulder and the other woman. Okay. So if that was the situation in the past, you know. If it's not your story again, you know, throw it away. Okay. But if there was another woman in the past or another man, another person that was interfering with a relationship, um then you're going to obviously, I can see this putting you in your head because you don't know if this person is telling the truth or not. You know, what we'll turn this person around. But sometimes, I'm going to give you another perspective, and I know you know this, but sometimes it is just being away and realizing what you have, right? How you're acting, what this person actually means to you, this Nine of Pentacles, this, part, this you know, Queen of Swords. You're going to go on regardless, okay? You're good. That's what it looks like to me. You're good. But this person, I feel like they've had some kind of epiphany. They've had some kind of clarity that you're their damn soulmate. And that's where this is coming from. You've got golden mirror. This was this person in the past. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship. Okay, that is what they were giving you before. Um, very self-absorbed, right? The vanity card there. Also, you want to make sure... And I know you know this, but if you're going to move forward, anybody that was in the way is actually out of the way. Look, and it has you healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. And then the next card is actually addiction. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. Okay. So these to me, and this may have very well been where they were, I would just say to you, I would look at some of these, not necessarily as red flags, but just as cautionary, okay? Because what you want to do, you definitely don't want to invite somebody back in that still is carrying around all the same mess that they had you in before. That's not going to work, okay? So they need to make sure that, you know, they've grown up, they've grown enough. Because you're going for your Ten of Cups. Okay, so you need someone that is mature enough that can actually give you that. All right. So you guys and angels, give me just a couple of messages here. Well, hello. Come on. I'm... S <laughs> Boy, you cannot make it up. I'm sorry I put you in a third-party situation. Boom. Yep. That was the, the snake card. 
competition, enemy, uh, the other woman. That's why he was. That's why they were in a, or they put you in a one-sided relationship because they were they had things going elsewhere. Mm. All right. You know what though? I mean, I'm looking at these cards here, and you have just grown from this. You took that heartbreak and you turned that into success for yourself, into inner growth, right? Um, inner lessons, obviously, things that are just going to help you progress in life and move forward with or without this person. It doesn't matter because you've got it together over here. Look at this. This might be a person that lives close to you. I drive by your place. Yeah, I drive by your place. I thought it said daily for some reason. Um, I try, maybe they do it daily. <laughs> I don't believe in mistakes, so maybe that's what happened. I drive by your place, so if they actually live close to you, this person may be driving by your place. With this Queen of Swords energy, you could have very well cut this person out and also block them in some way, okay, where they couldn't see you, where they couldn't, you know, stalk you on social media, you know, but they definitely are trying to, this is why they're coming in so fast. This is why they want to race in and, you know, give you some truth and try to make things, you know, right with you. Mm. All right. Guys and angels, one more message for my beautiful Virgos. You are so beautiful. It's gorgeous. All right. I'm going to pull. I don't know why I'm being told this. I usually would wrap this up, but I was just told to get, <laughs> I was just told to get two more. As soon as I picked it up, it flipped in my hand. I have my back turned because I can't face you. So this person may have been a little bit in hiding, to be fair. Okay, they haven't shown you potentially any kind of action. And now that you're all straightened out, they're just kind of coming in, rushing in out of the blue. Look at this, though. Oh, this, this is why they told me to pull this. I'm getting negative influences in people out of my life. Virgo, I was going to end this reading as I stated, and I was told to pull the second deck. So this person might actually be getting, they might actually be growing up. Maybe they had a lot of negative influences around them, or even negative habits or, you know, addictions, even just addictions to attention, right? Addictions to, to money or to financial gain or to, you know whatever it was, but it looks like they're going through some growth as well because they're saying I'm getting negative influences and people out of my life. All right, Spirit guys, do we have one last card from my Virgo as well? This went on. Yeah, they've been depressed over this. I'm hiding depression over this. So they definitely have been dealing with stuff um, on their own. They clearly had some kind of um, awakening in a sense. They certainly recognize who you are. And now they want to come in and try to make it right. Oh, my gosh. And then the bottom says, I'm working on myself, changing to become the man that you need. There you go. Okay, Virgo. Beautiful reading. Was not sure how that was going to go. It looks like you've had a lot of ups and downs in this person or with this person. Um, it does look like they're trying to make some positive changes. Uh, and come back into your life and be the person that you need them to be so that you guys can move forward and have the things that you actually desire. I would just say pay attention to any kind of red flags, of course. Um, and just, you know, pay attention to their energy. Just watch them. You know, you've got time. Just watch them. You're standing, like I said, you're standing strong over here. So I would just watch them and let them prove themselves to you, okay? Because you definitely deserve to have good things. Okay, Virgo, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. And until then, have a good night, Virgo.